May I tell you, may I tell you what's coming? It's about to get rough. It's about to get tough to the real preachers, the real teachers, the true men of God, the true women of God, those who don't plan to cut it and mix it and change it. Hear me, it's about to get rough. Because when you say, Thus saith the Lord God Almighty, you may find yourself in prison. Somebody walk with me here. When you say, Thou shalt not, you may find yourself behind bars. Come on, do me a favor right now. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor. I know you didn't come to hear this kind of message right now, but you got to hear it before there's a break to hear. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, we are the two Christians right now. When you preach the word, you may get in trouble. You don't want to hear this tonight in revival. When you preach the word, you may find yourself getting beaten. You may find yourself in blood. But hear me, ladies and gentlemen, you better take up your cross. You gotta get radical. God is not calling any soft soap in the gospel. He's calling some soldiers. Ask your neighbor the question, neighbor, are you a soldier? Rabba Kashanda. Because from now going forward, only soldiers are required in the kingdom. You gotta be brave. You gotta be bold. You gotta be serious. You gotta sail at the right of a Christ I live and for Christ I die. Am I talking to anybody here right now? Shanabazanda Kazeke Parobo Koshanda. I feel God right now. And the Bible says now, when he cast out the spirit out of that young girl, who that young girl represented? That young girl represented every young girl, every young boy in the community and in the nation. How many persons know right now that there are young people who are tied up and wrapped up by Facebook, with Instagram, with TikTok, with all kind of madness. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we need a power to break that you see we need something to reverse that we need something to shut that down do you know how many young people are being possessed by facebook and being possessed by can i talk to somebody i said some demons are coming out of those things i'm not being being superstitious i'm telling you what i know there are demons coming through all these things captivating the minds and hearts of our people that's why we must come for war you better war for your children and war for your next door neighbor's children and war for your community believe us we got a war right now we need the city we need our children we need them back because there's a devil loose there's a devil loose in Patterson there's a devil loose in Winningboro there's a devil loose in Newark there's a devil loose in your community and we come tonight to stand together Come on, watch us now. And the Bible says they were beaten and they were whipped. They were bleeding. And as they were bleeding, my God, the enemy placed them. Come on, Manzanda Right in the lower, lowest part of the prison. Right in the dungeon. Right where it was dark. Right where no one else were. And placed them right there. Left them there and said, it's over. Place guards around them. Come on. And as they were there, the Lord said to me, he said, tell the church tonight that where the men of God were placed, right in the dungeon, it was a sign of where the enemy had the people in the city. Come on. Huh? Can I say that one more time? The Lord told me in my prayer time, he says, where Paul was placed, right in the dungeon, right in the lowest place, right in the darkness, being bound with chains. Come here, Amabir. Come, 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 read back up from there. He says, right where they were placed. Come on, sit beside me. Right where they were placed, bound together. The Lord says, he says, hear me. He says, Paul wasn't just there because they wanted to place him there. But the Lord said, remember Ezekiel, that whatever was happening, he showed it in Ezekiel in a real way. Whatever was happening to the people, it happened to Ezekiel. The Lord says, same thing with the Apostle Paul. He says, when they were placed in the dungeon, it wasn't the enemy just doing something to them. But God allowed the enemy to show us what he was doing with the people. He had them bound and he had them weighed down. 
Christian believers, do you know that there are people who are walking around but they are bound? Do you know that there are people who are walking around but they are dead? Do you know there are people who are walking around but they are in prison? Uh-huh. See, you better walk with me right now. They have physical life but no spiritual life. Uh, and the Lord says, hear me, when Paul was there and Silas was there, it was a sign of the community. You better watch me right now. He said the community of Philippi, they were bound with chains. Do you know the enemy can bind up a city? The enemy can wrap up a nation. The enemy can wrap up a people. Come on, you better understand, hear me. There are some evil altars in this region. There are some evil altars. How do I know? They knew that we were coming to stand with the pastors in the land of Abashamda. Shake him as under. They knew that we were coming to stand with the bishops, the pastors, and the leaders to help to fight this war and he pulled out everything he could to stop us from coming to stand with you to help us to fight this war in this nation so he tried everything but I hear the Lord says no weapon come on believers no weapon look at your neighbor say neighbor no weapon fawn against us shall prosper I hear a word in my spirit the Lord said upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail I so we come for the city we come for the nation anywhere the nation the city is bound up wrapped up Tied up. God said it's time. Ripo Koshanda. Shanda Nana Mazanda Rabanda. Churches that could not grow. It's about to grow. Come on, homes that could not get a breakthrough. It's about to get a breakthrough. Family members who couldn't get couldn't have gotten saved. They're about to receive salvation. Those who were sick by evil sicknesses and disease. The Lord said I'm about to heal them. I'm about to deliver them. Someone get ready. I feel a breakthrough now. I hear a sound in my spirit. Somebody get ready. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's about time. I'm about to need you. Come on, come on. I'm about to call upon your neighbor. I'm about to call upon you. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's about time. We're about to do some work. We're about to do some work. We're about to do some work. We're about to do some work.